hello compound data type this is a data type that are made of different objects the list is a popular one with the list you can actually store multiple that objects with the list it's use square bracket let's just put up a list and let's say my underscore grades the bracket the syntax sorry say so I take a test of 10 add this I have 7.8 comma 8.2 comma 5.4 comma 4.9 comma 6.0 yeah that's just a basic list with with its items this here is called an item of a list this is also called an item of a list this of called item of list this called item of list now we would want to build a program that can calculate the mean of this data here so before i do that i would like to enter my python shell i'm going to show you some some things so let's type in d i r no, sorry before the enter your Python shell. You already know how to enter your Python shell for Windows. Type Python for Mac or Linux system. You type Python 3. So there you go. Then let's check for our list to to check the variable like the the attribute of a data. We just put D I R bracket list close bracket so there we go we have all the attributes of what we can use list to do and i don't i'm not saying anything like mean or average but we have we have a way to do that but let me just show you if you want to do for the simple data maybe dir str okay this is what so the attribute of strings and maybe you want to know what what attribute could do you just type in help bracket the data type string dot let's say opa opa Close the bracket, enter. Then you see it says return a copy of the string converted to upper case. Let's just try something. Hello world. <laughs> Hello world. Dot upper. And there you go we have hello world so for we to run the the main of our data here we will need to get the the proper data structures and I'll show you how to go about that you just step in there in our that in our python shell there into bracket 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 sorry double 
underscore built built ins underscore underscore close data there we go we have all our inbuilt attributes all our inbuilt attributes and we have we have some as we could actually use some to sum the whole data here in our list we could use is there anything like count 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 no counts then we could use length because it's like the total number of items so you could actually check help let's say help let's say check help for all that and let's proceed with our so let's just run our code So my sum, my sum, equal sum, we have it there already, it's an, in, an inbuilt attribute we could use, function, sorry, our inbuilt function we could use, so we call our, our list sorry underscore yeah then we have just a length then length my great then I mean using all the things we have learned mm, my song slash length Our print the print mean control save and we run it okay we have there our mean value that's the sum of this guy's nine Point one, seven point eight, eight point two, five point four, four point nine, six point zero over as divided by the length. How many? I say is one, two, three, four, five, six divided by six and give us this. So there are three things you need to know when you're learning Python. One is the syntax of Python to know where to place comma the kind of bracket you use if you are to put underscore or something then secondly you have to know the proper data structure the proper data structure like this sum length so you how you already know how to check all that all the input functions we have installed from our data in Python and then secondly it's algorithm that is just all these guys here yeah. the way you go about solving problems your method of solving the problem so see you in the next class